it's kind of a virus to me. Um, you get infected with it, and uh, yeah, it's, it's something I start my day with and uh, end up my day with. Ursup means translated in English primordial soup and that's where all life started. Uh, so with uh, the primordial soup you have a few simple ingredients which, is, which are mixed together and very complex life arises from it. And, and that's I think the same as, uh, as a brewer does. We mix very simple ingredients together and from those simple ingredients very complex flavors arise. In 2011, I started uh, brewing on my kitchen stove, uh, just with some pots and pans and mixing ingredients together. And well, I, I really liked the beers that came out of it, and we decided to professionalize it a bit. The other co-owner of the brewery, uh, he had two uh, pubs here in Nijmegen, and we met each other in the love for beer. And we like beers which are not easily to get uh, so that's uh, how we started to make kind of difficult, uh, uh, hard to get styles here in our brewery. The brewery is located in an old soup factory, uh, which is very coincidental uh, because of our name. Um, there's a lot of other companies in this uh, factory, which is located in Nijmegen, which is very close to the German border. Uh, we produce two lines of beers, called the first line of beers, or clean beers. Uh, which are made with normal yeast and it's kind of what you normally see in every brewery. Uh, the second line of beers we make uh, here, we call it uh, the wild side or wild beers and those are the beers we, uh, that where we also use bacteria and wild yeast uh, to produce the beer and that's a very long process we call slow beer um, because you have to wait a long time before those processes uh, are finished. We have some seasonals, we have some beers we make uh, year-round uh, and we have some one-off beers uh, we make on the clean side. On the wild side, uh, things are much more different because there's uh, less control in the flavors and most of the time when a beer is ready, um, you can also mix it with other beers to get the right, to the right flavor. So we kind of approach it more like, uh, like a wine people do, uh, that there's like a, every year a different flavor in the beer. Our, our plans for the future, or our dreams for the future, uh, is to specialize more and more into the wild side of our brewery, uh, to make more barrel-aged beers, uh, have a bigger production there, and also to, to get the Netherlands ready uh, to drink more of those wild uh, beers, because uh, they are very interesting, they have a lot of layers and flavors, and yeah, they are intriguing.